guys, it is the next day and I've already been working a little bit this morning, but I kind of want to get the studio cleaned up before Lily comes in the afternoon. But I still have all of these uh, knit patchwork tanks to finish up. And by that, I mean, I literally just have to sew the tags on them. So I'm going to quickly sew the tags on all of these so that I can go ahead and like vacuum this whole area and get all the white dust and particles out of here and then start cutting out some stuff for Lily and I to work on. But yeah, I'm super excited about these tanks. Honestly, they're super cute. They're inside out right now, but I love this fabric and I think they're so cute and I think you guys are gonna like this. And obviously my patchwork tanks are always a little bit cheaper than everything else that I have. So hopefully it's something that is a little bit more accessible to most. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew the tags onto these. I think I have four of these or five, four. And then yeah, we'll get started on everything else. So I just cleaned up, everything looks so much neater now, and I cleaned over the table as well, and I also cleaned over here as well, so not as much dust sitting around here, which is really great. I think I'm gonna cut out the white floral Gabrielle tops that I have. I think I have two orders of them. So I'm gonna cut those out, and then I think I might just cut some other ones out, just like other Gabrielle tops, so that me and Lily can get started on those, at least have her and I like, just go at it at the darts because that takes for freaking ever, and just start getting them prepped and see how far we get. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's cut some out. So I just realized that I don't have like the pattern printed for one of the sizes that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and order that to come in. And while I'm at it, I was working on redoing the patchwork tank patterns and digitizing them because I haven't digitized them yet. And I think I'm gonna finish them up really quick so I can order them at the same time too, just because it's easier to order a bunch at the same time so I don't have to pay for like shipping a million times and it just ships all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly finish that so I can get that printed with it as well. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need printed, but I think that might be it for now, but yeah. I'm just gonna do that really quick because I want to make sure they come in as early as possible which will probably be like Monday so yeah I'm gonna do this real quick and then we'll get back to this <laughs> So I just got those patterns ordered and I got that out of the way. I also ordered a couple other ones that I think I'm going to do here soon. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with Lily because I only have like one order I could cut out and it's like I don't need her to be here for that. So I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I can get ahead with with her and I'm not entirely sure. I do have like a random task which is like I have all of these pre-made Gabrielle tops in the pink floral that I made before I launched and right before I launched, I realized the Gabrielle pattern needed to be adjusted the tiniest bit. Like it was perfectly fine as a pattern, but I wanted it to be a little bit tighter. So I like took it in a little bit. So the back where you tie it up has a bit of space in between because before it was like too close together where like you couldn't really like tighten it if you wanted to be like snatched. So I went ahead and fixed that on most of the ones I have, but I have like three tops that I haven't fixed that on and I have to like undo them to redo it. So maybe we'll like undo those or something. I'm also trying to figure out like what else we could do in terms of like planning and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna have to like sit and think on it for a hot minute and then maybe we'll get back to this. I don't know. I need to think. Okay, it's been like five minutes, but I think we're gonna go ahead and unstitch all of the tops that I have to fix. So we can start with that. And then she can start fixing them. I'll cut out more squares out of the scraps of pink that I have from the other day when I cut out pink Gabrielle tops. So I can like finish off this stack. And then I'm thinking that she can start putting together all the squares while I cut out just more inventory of stuff. And then we'll kind of just like see from there and then maybe she can just be like sewing stuff or like package items that I have right now or whatever. But usually she brings her sewing machine, but I just don't have space for it now since like I have this big table serger taking up so much space. There's not much space over here to put another sewing machine right now. So I'm trying to figure out like what we could do where we're not both needing to be sewing right away. Granted, like when I do get my industrial serger, I'll have a separate table for like the extra sewing machine so we can like both sew at the same time. But right now it's just like very cluttered and I just don't think it's gonna be very great to do that. So I'm trying to think of things we can do that don't necessarily require that. So I think this should take enough time. Honestly, cutting out the squares takes so freaking long and 
and we can definitely start doing that with maybe some other fabrics that i have or something or just like start pacing them together because that takes a hot minute too and honestly seam ripping all of these other tops is going to take forever too and like fixing them and redoing them so i think we've got plenty to work with i just like am worried that only one of us can be sewing at a time and i'm like trying to figure out what the other can do in the meantime so that's my only concern but i think we should be good i should be able to find stuff to do and worst comes to worst i have her sewing and i can just be editing or something too i always forget that like i don't have to be sewing at the same time too like obviously yeah it's nice to do it both at the same time but there's obviously a million other things i could be doing as well so we will see but i think we have plenty of stuff to work with so it's about to be 11 right now so i have about an hour until like I eat usually. I think I'm gonna edit for a little bit. I was editing last night and I think I'm like halfway through a video. I could probably finish it up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get that kind of situated. I've been like ahead on all my YouTube uploads for the past like couple weeks and it's been so nice. I'm like one or two videos ahead at all times, which is literally like so great because usually I'm like scrambling to get it done and it's very stressful so i've been really good about that and i should continue on with that so i'm gonna go ahead and edit for a little bit and then i'll catch you guys afterwards so it's about five o'clock at this point and lily just left i didn't record when she was here because we were just like talking and doing work at the same time but we ended up seam ripping the tops that i needed to seam rip and then we also just kind of went through a lot of my inventory of scraps and fabrics that i have just to figure out what we're gonna do next and just like i was bouncing ideas off of her and she was kind of helping me solidify my ideas and then I was looking through my scraps and I found like all this fabric from last spring when I made a bunch of like really pretty romantic style stuff and it obviously goes really well with all of these fabrics and just like the general like very light springy summery vibe so I want to bring those back in some sort of way and we came up with a few ideas of what I can make so I just now I need to make like the patterns for it to then actually like execute it but we also finished cutting out more little squares of the pinky tan fabric that I have so we got a good amount of stuff done it just feels like I didn't get a lot done but we were just talking about ideas and like figuring a bunch of stuff out I and mean, I feel a lot better about what I was doing so that's good anyway it is about five o'clock so I am going to shower and eventually have dinner because I'm starting to get hungry again and yeah feeling really good about it but I, I feel like I have a lot of prototyping to do here soon which is just weird to me that I'm like doing this at the same time that I have a collection out because usually it's like I finish a collection and then start another one but I like doing it at the same time so that you know by the time this collection's over I already have something and I don't have like that in between time so feeling really good about it it also I feel like gives me time to do it a little bit slower than having to rush it because I don't want to spend a whole month without having anything in the shop or anything like that so feeling good about it it, but that is the the current update so I just had dinner and I was sitting like at my computer doing work like I normally do after dinner and stuff and I got a text message saying that my order was delivered for my industrial serger even though the estimated date was supposedly next Wednesday like it is currently Thursday like I this is like way too soon so I'm gonna go check to see if I actually got it also this is kind of a random time to be getting a package I guess it's still like oh I guess it's 7 45 it's not that weird but I'm wondering where they left it my house is kind of weird and my front door actually faces the back so sometimes they'll leave stuff in the front or sometimes they leave it by my garage but we're gonna check and see where they left it Okay, so it's not at the front door. Let's go check if we have an industrial surgery. If we do, this is life changing. Guys, it actually got delivered with the frick. Why did this come in like five days early? Do I think I can get it myself? Let's see. Okay, it is so cold out, but we've got the table we've got a smaller package and then what i believe is the machine itself is right there that one is the heaviest part i can pick it up but not for too long a period of time so maybe i will be able to actually get this up by myself let's attempt you know let's see how far we get enjoy this attempt at me bringing this up we're gonna start easy okay this one is more bulky than it is heavy but it's literally almost as tall as me so i don't know how i'm gonna get this up oh no Ugh. guys this is so heavy i don't think there's any way i can bring up that juki by myself but i really want to start building it let's see okay i'm out of breath 
We got the tabletop up. Now I just need the actual machine itself. Okay. I think the only thing is it has these little straps to like hold it with, but that literally cuts through your fingers. Like it hurts. But I think I could go like one step at a time maybe and be able to get it up. Okay. One. I think I'll be able to do this. Just, you know, slowly but surely. Bring it up this way. Guys, I'm so out of breath. I'm not even halfway up yet. I got this. Okay, we've got it halfway up, so. I gotta bring you guys along. I'm so out of breath. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hello? Okay. Guys, I did it! I did it. I brought the jerky up. Oh my god. I'm so out of breath. I'm pretty sure these are like literally like 100 pounds. So there's my workout for the day. I'm gonna like take a breather for like two hot seconds and then we'll open this up. Okay, I've recovered slightly. I'm still a little out of breath, but this table needs to go into my sewing room. And the big table that's in my sewing room right now, not my cutting table, but where the sergers are, is probably gonna come in here. So here's the deal. I switched over this smaller table here when I got the serger, but... Now I need to put the longer table here. And then this smaller one I'm hoping is the perfect fit to end off like that whole wall in my sewing room. So it'll be like the serger with its table, my industrial with its table, and then hopefully I'll be able to fit in this table like perfectly in that extra space to have like all the rest of my stuff and my other sewing machine just like for when people come in to help me sew. That's the ideal plan. I haven't measured things out to see if it's gonna perfectly fit, but I have a feeling it will. That being said, I need to move this table around and move all the stuff so that I can move the other table in here and start setting up my industrial like in the room because I don't think it's worth trying to set it up out here and then like putting it in the room because that's just gonna get too heavy. So. I'm gonna move this over, which like honestly this is such a light table, there's really not much to it. And I need to move all the things out of the other table so that I can put it in here. Lots of rearranging going on today, but I'm excited. I'm so excited that this machine already came in because I was literally talking to Lily about it. I was like, there's so many things I want to do, but I kind of want to wait till I have my industrial surgery just so that I can get through it a lot faster and like sew it a lot better. I was telling her, I'm like, it's so annoying that I know it's coming next week and I'm like pushing all these things behind because I want to use it. And now it came in today and I don't have to wait to use it. So that is the world telling me to just start doing everything that I have in my head and to stop putting it off for other reasons. So anyway, let's um, go into this room. So, so this long table that I don't know if you can see from there, but you know, it's here. This is what I'm trying to move. So I have to get all these things off of it and onto my cutting table. I think I have a huge cutting table and I can just like easily put everything over here, but... Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to move the table out of there. It's like not heavy whatsoever. It's just like very long. So I need to like strategically kind of cut corners with it. So we'll see how well I managed to do this, but moving it from here to here. So let's do it. Guys, this is really hard. So logistically, I really don't know how I'm gonna move this out and back in, but we've made it this far. So I don't know. There's literally no way to pivot this. So we're stuck. That's cool. I wonder if I like... Okay, so we're closer now. I feel like I'm so close yet so far right now. Well... Okay, I need to show you guys what I'm dealing with here. So this is what we're dealing with. This is like, won't cut the corner, but over there it's already hitting this table and I can't manage to move this table for the life of me. So we are stuck and I'm also getting sweaty. So am I about to change because I'm literally burning up? Yes. Okay, I managed to move this table over a little bit. So I was able to bring this forward a little bit more and I think that I might be able to get it out now if I flip it so that it can start going through. Except I'm hitting the wall here. We're getting through. Okay, 
I need to move all of this out of the way. This isn't heavy to move, but it's so long and like so hard to get it all to move at once because it's literally just so long. But I think we're getting somewhere. I'm seeing the light of day here. Guys, I did it. I did it. I got it. And now we get to steer it into this room. Oh my God. I cannot believe I managed to do that. Oh no. Am I gonna have the same problem here? I don't think I can move this cap with my own. Oh wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys into the office so you can see what's going on, but I cannot believe that I managed to get that out of there. Also, how the heck did I move that giant table? No clue. How am I gonna move it back? Also no clue, but we've got it in here. So I just need to move this table a little bit over so that I can place this big one right there and it should fit perfectly. And this is what my sewing room currently looks like. So I moved this table all the way over. You can see that's where it originally was. Don't know how I managed, but I should have room for the industrial and then that other little white table is hopefully the idea i also have that little cart right there which i can also move and move the industrial one over a little bit more so this is what we're working with okay it was a big game of back and forth with this but i finally got it there and it fits perfectly literally just like the tiniest bit of room over there so that's gonna be a super nice workspace to have just so i can put like orders there while they're done and just be able to like have my desk more organized because it doesn't all have to be cluttered in one space so that's ready to go now it's time to fix this and build my industrial machine. I honestly don't know how to build it and I don't know how complicated it's gonna be or if I'll be able to do it by myself because I don't know if like the pieces are gonna be too heavy for me to like hold up on my own. I think that if it's not too heavy to hold up the pieces, I think I'm very able to do it. I'm just scared, but let's do it. time and have zero progress because I don't have any right tools to build this and I just can't do this on my own um, so I texted a family friend to see if they can come help me out this weekend and I called my dad not that he could help me whatsoever over the phone but you know just for moral support and yeah he was like you should call up our family friend to help you because this is kind of a lot he was also kind of surprised at how unassembled it was he was like i was not expecting it to be like that unassembled and stuff also installing a motor i don't trust myself with like i'm sure i could figure it out I'm, I'm sure it's not that difficult but i don't know that type of stuff scares me a little bit more but also i just don't have tools at all to like put the only tools i have are the tools that came with my embroidery machine <laughs> which are like a couple like you know phillips head screwdrivers and like other stuff like that that's like kind of more basic but i don't have like a lot of other stuff and also i feel like i would need the like electric little screwdriver thingy to be able to drill these legs onto the table because the table doesn't have like pre-drilled holes for it so it would be really hard for me to like hand drill it in so yeah just not a lot we could do but now i have a unworkable workroom until i get somebody to help me should have thought that one through but uh, yeah, it looks like tomorrow is going to be a computer day by the looks of it, unless I can get my family friend to come tomorrow, but I kind of just feel bad because I've called them up so many times over the past like couple of months since like my parents moved to Dallas because I had a ridiculous amount of car problems over the winter because my car sits outside since I have the garage like as a studio. And when I was gone for two weeks, in dallas my car just sat out there in the cold and my battery just kept dying on me so i had to have him come like restarted a million times and eventually my battery was just bad so we had to install a new one and he installed it for me and like i've just been having so many troubles and issues and stuff so i feel bad but that's what family's for so anyway that being said it is late so i'm just gonna go to bed and we'll see tomorrow how this unfolds but yeah i'll show you guys the state of the room currently this is where we're at 
I like could definitely assemble that. I just don't think I have the right pieces for it, but that should be pretty quick to assemble. It's just like the machine's got a lot of moving parts to it. And then obviously like got to put the motor on it. And yeah, this is kind of where we're at, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow.